All the mobile homes can be a task. Never know what can go wrong out there. Wind, blowouts, all types of stuff. You also have to have the right permits, the escorts, know your routing and everything. This incident happened on US 95 in Nevada, um, just before you get up towards Idaho. And um, you had a little jackknife situation. The wind blew him off the road, tore the trailer up, tore a little bit of the truck up, got it back off the road. They had to park it for the rest of the day. The next day, they had their crew come out from the Bay Area to fix the situation. I didn't think they was going to get it done, but they surprised the hell out of me. Check it out. So we got a situation here where yesterday um, the wind hit this unit. He jackknifed it, went all over the road, tore the front of it up, and um, the axles are twisted. So they're trying to straighten it out. These little ass chains ain't gonna get it done though. So as you can see, the tech knife got him right there real quick. Even the door frame was jacked and then got him right there. So what they're trying to do is get the frame straight. He's pulling this way. Another truck is just basically like sitting there. They said they did this before. So there's been a couple of attempts to pull it. I guess to straighten it out. These things don't really weigh that much. But um. Mm. I need a better chain than that. Let me get my punk ass out there. Wait, wait. Now, they said if it doesn't work, they're going to have to cut the axles off and straighten it out because the trailer goes to the other side uh, over the line. About to take out the damn uh, mile post. So here we go. This is like attempt number three. So we put a bigger chain on the back though. All they need is about six inches to get this thing straightened out. It's amazing what six inches can do to you on the road. Like it's getting worse, but I'm not the expert behind this, so they know what they're doing. You know, having said move a few inches, I think we need a bigger chain though. Here comes one. And somebody, I don't know, wasn't he supposed to be in the front with the escort? They got a welder back here. Hey. Earlier, 
chain broke. You gotta put a bigger chain on there. You had to re-weld all that. Now they gotta go up front and do some more welding, I think. But like I said, yesterday he was coming down the road somewhere up there. Wind caught him, he jackknifed, he lost it, and um, damaged his truck, damaged the home. So now they're trying to get it straight. I guess they'll get it to their destination and do what they got to do to it. But as you can see, the doors screwed, the frame screwed. So, I guess, yeah, they're going to weld that there. That's what they're going to do. And then cook the hooks of the chain to the pocket that they're about to weld. So all the make some cuts in the front of the axle, get the hub pushed back in and re-weld it. You know what I mean? That'll be back and straight. So what's happened is this is what has happened. They have pulled it and they've gotten it straightened out because they were a little crooked. Said back here, I think the last one or two, they're still trying to get it straight. If not, they're going to have to like cut it and get straightened out and re-weld it back on or whatever. So they're all straight? Huh? Yeah, they're getting straighter. Yeah. They were uh, earlier more crooked than what they were. So whatever they got to cut off, if need be, they'll do it. So right now, They're welding a pocket. Uh, the third axle back in the set of four, it's still twisted a little bit. So you're saying, worst case scenario, he'll cut around it, move it forward, and then quarters and in tappers, whatever, and then re weld it back on just to make it straight. Uh, Tug on it. Because the house is what's keeping it stuck because it's stationed. Yeah, yeah. So if we loosen the bolts on connecting the frame to the house, we'll be able to twist the frame, not the house. Mm. So you're just going to do it on one side? Maybe. I don't know if they're going to do just one side or they're going to do all around. Start down there, start this way. You have to worry about that. So, what they're saying is, they're going to loosen the boat from end to end, because the house is connected to it, so that way when they start pulling, that the frame was straightened out, and the house won't be moving with it. Hopefully, I explained that correctly. Oh. So he's going to tug on it. You can look closely, you can kind of see the rear wheel is pushed in. So the 
before he does it. That wheel's kind of pushed in. They all were uh, twisted, but they gotta get that one straightened out. Brothers got skills. And yeah, weld something else on. So what they've done is weld this thing in another spot. I don't think you can see it. I think they welded it underneath. It's sliding. It's getting straight. Yep, you can see it poking out. Yeah. It was real bad. Starting to straighten up though. Yep. So these boys right here. They know they shit, boy. Y'all was counting them out, man. I ain't gonna lie. I, ain't, I thought it was gonna be a disaster. But the wheels are straight. Now it's, if you can see, See how that wheel is right there sticking out? The second one. You see it kind of cocked out compared to the others. I always wanted to do these in North Carolina, Clayton Homes. Almost got it. Probably took him about. A good hour and a half. Oh, that look good. Oh, I thought you were going to hop that chain. <laughs> Definitely thought this was going to be a. It's already a disaster up front, but they said they'll get it fixed. But now it won't dog track to the right. Won't take out somebody's mailbox or whatever, or some highway signs. <laughs> Gotta get creative out here, boy. I've been in some situations. This is different, though. I've been in some situations with a step deck, you know, flatbed. Man, maybe a low move or something like that. Man, you gotta get creative. Hey, G Wave, remember that phone call that one day? Got to be ready, man. They're measuring it, making sure it's all uh, even, or close to even. Move that up. Now hold on, here. Come over this way. I put, I put the tension out of it. <laughs> so they're making sure that the uh, home is sitting even on so the uh, frame. Yeah. So it's a one is different. So I think you put the tension back on it. Tighten everything up. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. 
Tension on it, pull it again because get a seat, come out. And it's over there a little bit too far by like an inch, so they can pull it again. So, as I was saying, it's twisted that way, I believe. By an inch, so we're gonna tug it. We got some tension on it, so we're gonna tug it again. Um, then they're gonna get a seat clamp and do whatever they gotta do, and they're gonna tug it one more time and it'll be straight. And then they'll do whatever else they gotta do to it, and should be ready to go. So here we go. Let's see what they're gonna do right here. They're still crooked. They're gonna do some work to it and straighten it out. And um, after that, it's ready to go. But uh, everything else is good. Everything's even on the back. Everything's even on the front. All we gotta do is take care of this. Bend it, and you 
welding it, it all peeking up, and then by the time you're to the outside, put a spot weld here, and a spot weld there, and a little there, and it keeps blocking the metal up. If you started flat, it would banana. Yeah, I used to go race car trains, man. You start out with a load of steel tubing and a couple of reefs and you're pushing that out the back door. Is big It's off by a quarter of an inch. Break, <coughs> That's not even the wheel. Yeah. Right? It's already that crooked. Spinning it back now. Definitely better than what it was. <laughs> now everything's done. Tires are straightened out. He ran off the road just down there. Let's see if I can get the photo of how it looked. I guess it was on the dash cam and they can do a couple of screenshots. But everything's good now. So he basically ran off and ran through the fence. <laughs> I don't know how he got out, but he got out of there. Oh. 
about to snow again, ain't it? I thought I saw some flurries. It's all hooked up. Got to get out of here. The other one's hooked up down here. We all about to leave. He's got it. It's all good now.